Faye Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a diagram of photosynthesis. So right here at the top, I'm going to write the word photosynthesis. And this is one word, but if you divide it up in parts, the photo part stands for light. And the synthesis part stands for putting together. So it's basically putting together light. Okay? So first we're going to draw and then we're going to label. So come over here to the left hand side and put a dot. And from that dot we're going to draw a circle. And right above the dot, we draw a curve line, curve line, all the way around and down. Come back up to the top, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. Now we're going to draw a straight line out, straight line down, and a triangle. And now over here at the bottom, we're going to draw a straight line down and a triangle. Okay, I come over to the left and I'm just going to put a dot and then I'm going to draw a slightly wavy, wavy line, leave a space, slightly wavy, wavy line, and stop. Come back to the part where I stopped right here on the left hand side and I'm going to draw a straight line up, curve line over, big curve line out, up, and connect. Now I come on the right hand side, straight line up, keep going, curve line up, curve line down, over, and connect. I'm going to come back to the left and I'm just going to draw a curve line, one, two, three little curve lines on the left, curve line up, one, two, three little curved lines on the right. Now I come back down here to where this space is and I'm just going to draw a wavy line down, wavy line up, wavy line down, up, down, up, wavy line up and connect. Okay? Alright. Now I come back over here on the right and I'm going to draw curve line, curve line, triangle at the end, and then I'm going to draw a straight line, triangle at the end. Because right here I'm going to put a dot and I'm going to draw a circle, curve line, curve line, and right next to that I put another dot. And now I'm going to draw curve line down, curve line over, curve line up, connect. I come back to the first circle and on the left side I'm going to put curve line out, in, connect. Right side, curve line out, in, connect. Little straight lines all the way across the top. Then on the inside I draw a straight line, curve line, straight line, come back to the left, curve line, curve line, connect, little curve line, one dot, two dots. Come over here to this space and I'm going to draw a curve line up, curve line down, around, connect, a little flat oval, one dot, two dots, curve line out, in, connect on the right, curve line out, in, connect on the left. And just go one, two, three little curve lines. Alright, now we're ready to label. This is the sun. And the sun 
makes carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide, which is a gas. And the reason why it's important is because when we talk about photosynthesis, plants use energy in the sunlight to turn a gas called carbon dioxide and water into sugar. So what are we talking about? We come all the way down to the bottom and we're going to do a curve line up, connect, and this is the water. This is what the plants get through their roots underwater. If you add plus the carbon dioxide, this is the combination that plants need in order to make sugar which is the plant's food and he, he, he or she they need that plant food in order to grow okay so it all starts from the energy with the Sun then come over here on the left the gas which is taken in taken in through the leaves of the plant through the leaves of the plant is also now what makes the carbon dioxide with the water and the sugar make the plant grow so the plants grow plants grow from the sugar now why is that important it's important because when the plants get done with that process they release oxygen which they don't need they don't need the oxygen to grow they need the carbon dioxide in the water to grow but we need the oxygen we need the oxygen because we need to breathe. We breathe oxygen. And that is what we have in common with animals in order to survive. So, by the time the plants produce the gas called oxygen as a waste product, they get rid of it, we're the ones that benefit because that is exactly what we breathe. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, so probably the most important thing is our energy source, which is the sun. And it's very important for the plants. That's why we always say most plants need the sun in order to grow. So we're going to do that yellow. Then I'm going to color in my leaf on the right, my leaf on the left, green and I'm going to use my green line going down to the ground. I'm not going to go all the way down because this is the roots but right where that line is I'm going to stop because that's where my plants are going to go to. Then with my yellow again I'm going to do my roots. Now the roots are important because this is how the plant gets the water, minerals, in order to make the sugar that they need from the carbon dioxide that comes through the leaves. That's the gas taken in through the leaves. Okay? And why is this so important? Come over here. This is a little guy with his mouth open. And this is an animal with its mouth open. So I'm going to color these black so you can see inside. I'm going to add some brown for his nose and his ears. And I'm going to give this guy some brown hair, just little straight lines. So, why is all of photosynthesis so important to living things? Because photosynthesis is how the plants give us oxygen. And if you don't have oxygen, you're not going to be alive. Now with my red, I'm going to do my arrows my triangles I should say. Now when I was researching this you have to remember that water plus carbon dioxide equals sugar which is the plants food in order for them to grow. 
we need that because once the plant is done growing with the carbon dioxide and the, sh the water that turns into sugars it gets rid of the oxygen which is important for us because that is what we breathe so so that I remember this is water I'm going to make this blue and then I'm going to take my blue and go around my little pictures of my human beings and animals that need photosynthesis so that we have oxygen in order to breathe and survive okay let's see what this looks like all colored in okay here's my diagram of photosynthesis all drawn out stepped out hopefully so that you can understand how interactive all living things are and why plants are especially important to our universe okay Bye-bye.